like that already tells me a lot, right? Like we probably have some vestibular ocular thing going on, right? If reading, focusing, things like that. But really, ultimately what I'm going to tell her is, all right, I want you to read, but I only want you to read to the point where you get a little symptomatic mm. and then take a break, right? If you start getting symptomatic in your daily life, right? You need to step out and take a break. Let's write a note to your professor, whatever that is. So the way I explain it to athletes or anybody is, when you wake up, because most people feel best in the morning, right when they wake up, some people don't, which this wouldn't work, but you, you check in with yourself when you feel the best and you say, all right, on a scale of zero to 10, where am I at? They say, okay, when I wake up, I'm at a zero. I feel absolutely fine. I'm like, great. Now go through your day. As you go through your day, if you ever get up to a two or a three with anything that you're doing, take a break. What makes you feel good? Okay. Closing your eyes, putting on some meditation music, that makes you feel better? Great. Let's get you back down to a zero or a one. Then you keep going. So it's so much activity modification to have them yeah. get through that day. Yeah. So you're essentially saying that you go through like a, an RPE and then you essentially mm -hmm. do like reps of getting back to that zone, relax, rest, and then go back again. And then again, mm -hmm. I'm guessing that there'll be like a sort of progressive overload to this. Yeah. So that's exactly what it is. And that's exactly how I explain it to my athletes because they understand muscles a lot better than the mm -hmm. brain. It's just like, it's just like lifting weights, right? Like you have to push it to fatigue, get a little micro, put whatever, right. To signal to your brain that we need to build up here. It's the same thing for your brain in order for you to get better with whatever exercises or activities we're doing, we, we have to push into symptoms a little bit mm. to know like, okay, that's the max. Now we can step back. The problem is athletes don't listen and they will overdo everything and they will push themselves to a 10 out of 10 feel like shit. Mm -hmm. And then they're out of commission for two days because then they wake up the next day and instead of feeling like a zero out of 10, they're feeling like an eight out of 10 and then they can't even start their day going. So honestly, like when I, especially when I talk to PT students, cause I've given a couple of guest lectures on how concussion evaluation and management is like, if you, the best thing you can do is just talk to them and give mm. them that kind of guidance. And that comes into like when I start transitioning them into the weight room, which can happen quite early. It actually, that happens quite early compared to getting back to academics because academics is so hard cognitively mm. that athletes will return to more sport like things like running and getting in the weight room before the academics and Academics don't like that. <laughs> they, yeah. they can't comprehend, like, why are they running, but, but they can't go to there. class right now, right?